Today, I awake to you having learned a great lesson yesterday about camping. As our neighbors at 1 a.m. were playing really loud music and screaming, we, uh, I went over to speak with them. Hey! Do you mind? What is A? What is, what is A? A is hello. They, they taught me about how camping is a part and parcel to life. So this is parts and parcel of life, of camping, okay? All right, I think I'm here for a philosophy lesson. I'm trying to sleep. And how we should all be more polite. Try to be polite first, okay? And then you can say something. Anyways, I learned, I learned it was just very disrespectful to tell people to be quiet. At one in the morning. We don't want that, we should stay home. We should stay home, yeah, I did get told to Just go home. Joke's on them, we are going home. Overall, if you ever go to Sleeping Giant National Park, we recommend it. Any big lessons that you learned while we were here at Sleeping Giant National Park? Potentially the most greatest park in Northern Ontario, or all of Ontario? No lessons. She's mad. She's still very, very mad. There's nobody, no one to run me So give me a run for my money So been lovely, feeling lovely Living lovely She's lovely I wanna be with you, I wanna be with you This here is the sleeping giant We were on top of it yesterday We just got out of Thunder Bay, like just got out of Thunder Bay Elizabeth goes, I think I need a coffee. Where's the next Timmy's? Brenda Kenora. The next Timmy's is about 300. 250 Three no, hours away. Three hours away. So now she's gotten to the point. Within only half an hour of driving, she's already making weird sounds at every sign she makes. <laughs> Too tired. I'm not tired. I just want to sit on a This area is like very uh, interesting. All trees, all rocks, all lakes. There's. I'm not seeing many lakes. At the moment, it's not that big. I live, well, the the drive, is, like the, the area is potentially interesting. The drive is literally there's trees and rocks and rocks and trees and trees and, trees and trees and rocks and rocks and trees and trees and rocks and rocks and trees and trees and rocks and rocks and trees and trees and rocks and water. Doing a hike. After a 16 hour day of driving, good idea. Immediately getting in the car the next day with no stretching, bad idea. Switching, switching drivers every three hours, good idea. I ran out of a, I ran out of a third thing, I wanted a third thing, this, that wasn't a good third thing. Hey man, sorry, this campsite is uh, taken. That's a beautiful cottage. That's a beautiful cottage. That's a beautiful cottage getting built. That's a beautiful girl. That's a beautiful cottage. That's two CDs. That's a really cool campsite. I don't know if I want to call this officially the summer of camping in the rain. Yeah. But it kind of is though, eh? We got rained out twice. Once we actually had to leave because the whole campsite flooded. And now uh, here we are again. We did set up camp just before it started to rain though. It was raining. It was already raining. It was raining while we put the, putting the tarp out, but the tent was already done up. We have, to, we have to put the tent in the rain. Trying to stay positive here, Elizabeth. <laughs> Jeepers. 2,000 kilometers in. Look how she's treating me. <laughs> If I'm in my mind at work, would you still keep it a hundred? I'd rather you trust me than to keep it a whole one. Don't got you, I got nothing. Run for my money. There was nobody, no one else run me. So give me a run for my money. Kind of like a candlelight there. Hey, you got the mood lighting. Living lovely.
We've upgraded our tent, boys and girls. You know, one of these things. Well, Elizabeth. a working one. It hangs. It's raining. I'm cold. Okay, here's the day. 